Welcome back to Brazen Brits. My name is Lawrence. And I'm Natalie. And this week we're back for another monthly collaboration. Yeah. Um, and so we are doing this along with all the other channels below with a special guest like special we do. Special guest. So <laughs> welcome to Chris and Katrina from our Everyday Getaway. Yep. Thank you for joining us this month. So this month's topic is a really good one. Yeah, I like it. And this is going to very much vary between everyone's channels. So after you've watched this, don't forget to go and check them out. But this, this, uh, this video is going to be things rv things that you don't need basically but you might do but you might do <laughs> who knows this is for us this is stuff that we have bought or has been suggested especially when we started out we bought a bunch of stuff we didn't really need so this is for you if you're starting out especially you will find this very interesting so let's roll the intro and then we'll jump straight into it really makes me wonder All right, so first of all, we're not gonna cover real basic things. Like when you start RVing, you have to have a water hose, you have to have wheel chocks, and you have to have a power. sewer hose, and you have to have a power cable, <laughs> yeah. right? Stop really, that. they're essential, they should come with the rig, whatever, we're not covering that. However, there are some essential things that we think are essential that we rarely, rarely, rarely use. Yeah, but they're there if we need them. But we have had to use them, and when we've had to use them, we needed them right there and then. Yes. So, Excuse me whilst I look at my notes here. Without further ado. Without further ado. <laughs> I okay. said you. I know. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. Not, that's not even a British thing, don't it? Just, it's not a British thing. No. Okay, so the first thing is the Viair. Yes. We bought the Viair day one. It was a big thing back in YouTubers things, and we love it. Yes. And I would absolutely buy another one. Um, the Viair, we've had to use it every now and then, and when we've needed it, it's there. The reason why you need the Viair is because the tire pressures, typically in RVs, especially in Class A's, things like that, uh, they need to be like 80 psi. Any normal air pressure thing that you buy won't go that high for a car. They normally go up to. Don't five. ramble. Okay. Um, a heated water hose. We have a heated water hose. There's a couple of times when we've used this, haven't necessarily needed it, but it's also excellent as a spare one mm -hmm. in case you need to extend, which we've used a lot this year. Or one blew up. Probably, yes. <laughs> we'll come on to that later though. Um, things that we would not recommend you buy. Um, an extra sewer hose. We actually have three, three <laughs> because sometimes the sewer connections are right at the back of the rig yeah. and they're quite far back. And so this year we had to buy another one. So we have a third one because it was so far from our outlet to the actual septic. So we have two extra ones in, in addition to the, the normal one. Um, a toolbox. Mm -hmm. Natalie wouldn't let me buy a toolbox. I'm gonna do it this year though. I because bought you a toolbox. You left out in the rain. No, you bought the box. I'm talking about a whole toolkit. Oh. So I wanted to buy a separate toolkit. I have a problem with buying tools. It does. And so Natalie wouldn't let me buy it because I have at least two of every tool here um, at the our home base. base. Yes. And so, um, yeah, so a toolbox, I would buy one of the gigantic ones. And I'll put a link below for the one that I think I would buy, which oh. has everything. And it's all in one little case and you can put it in, you can keep it tidy. All of my tools are just in a box and it's a mess. I feel like this is like wink, wink, Christmas is coming. It is. <laughs> I'm going to buy myself one for Christmas because you won't buy it for me. I will not. Um, okay, Starlink. <laughs> Um, Came in very useful this year, yes, but not this essential. this year. We did not think, it's not essential. If you have an, any internet stuff, then you'll generally do fine. But we have loved Starlink this year. We used it way more than I ever thought we would. We'd never had problems, not never. We rarely had problems with trees, things like that. Mm -hmm. It might be different if you're camping at state parks, things like that. Oh, yeah. um, but otherwise, Starlink has been fantastic. No regrets buying that. Uh, power adapters from 50 to 30 to 20 to dirty to 50 to all of the power adapters we, we have use used those. them a lot yeah. um, um but we typically most of the 90 percent of the time we don't need them but when you go somewhere and you need them you need them so we have all of those um a generator yeah we left it home this year we left it home this year didn't miss it well Ma maybe once or twice but then we also did pick up the car generator halfway through our trip we do have the car generator as yep. an emergency as backup an emergency. and it's a lot lighter than generator just so. don't get drunk and use it there's a video about that and we <laughs> ran down all of our batteries but a generator if you're starting out do not buy a generator straight off work out but, you're going to be boondocking yeah and stuff. you might need it at some point yeah. but it's worth the risk it's expensive is what i'm saying okay it's expensive so don't buy it as and an essential heavy. yeah just try and remember that you don't have one with you but whatever okay useless products for us for you this is more personal this is more <laughs> you're gonna get so much flack for this i'm not sure we should say it can we cut this bit out cut yeah. 
<laughs> okay, you, you can comment what you like with this, and you're absolutely, I know many people are going to disagree with some of these things. The first one is an outdoor TV. Sorry, Dustin. I know Dustin uses his a lot. He has a cool TV, and you just mount it on the side of the rig. It's suction cups. Uh, we've never watched TV outside. One, because we don't really watch a lot of TV. Two, we don't really watch sports which is what most people use it for yeah uh and and so it, and three we don't have the space it's just and four uh the sun can shine on it and you can't see it there's anyway mosquitoes so outside yeah, and there's stuff. Mosquitoes. like i don't want to sit outside and watch we TV. won't sit outside Weird. and watch tv no. yeah <laughs> we'll sit outside and hang out with people but yeah. not watch tv no. so an outside tv is not a thing for us if we have a rig with an outdoor tv i guarantee we won't use it we'll take it out put something else in yeah um the other thing is we have a projector i'll come on to that later which is really cool we've got that instead okay but well, the next this one is something i bought that everyone had raved about again that i was like yeah, yeah we'll, we'll pick one up well a few of those up and we literally never use them they just became an absolute pain in the uh rear end don't know if i can swear i actually have one here because i went to throw it away and Lawrence was like wait so these are the coat hanger extenders like you hook it over one and then you can hook lots of things to it yeah never used it absolute Piece. Natalie bought two things and we're sorry because we put this in a video recommending this and they are really good maybe you'll use no, them no we didn't and recommend them. that we did yeah it was oh in the whoops video. was that like yeah, three years it ago was. yeah sorry. it was in the video <laughs> but we bought at the same time we bought a, a shower caddy thing to put our stuff in fantastic used it all the time oh, yeah, and rusted. the other thing it did rust we'll buy a new one yeah it wasn't expensive and the other thing is we actually have one of those hanging box things where you can put your shoes in that's useful yeah. we use that a lot yeah way more than this uh this hanger thing so yeah. anyway the hanger thing don't recommend recommend it um this one's for you as well I don't oh know. yeah well you're so <laughs> again i got a bit suckered into this it was a pore cleaner and uh, lawrence will have to overlay a picture because it's really it's not that hard to explain it's literally a cup with rubber things in it so you put your dog's foot in it to clean it off now this might be fantastic if you have one dog but when you have two when we had three i had this i am not going to be cleaning eight paws before they come into the rig like i just grab an old towel in like to set up the paw cleaner device was just not worth it so maybe if you have one dog great but for us not an absolute waste of money a, a toolkit would have been much better to spend our money on wouldn't it a solo stove so we actually mm. have the fake solo stove that we like to call Han solo um and it works fantastic we love it the only problem is and we have used it a lot like to be fair we do use it this fairly, trip we fairly, did yeah but, but the uh, same as the outdoor tv we don't just randomly sit outside no so. if we only if we have friends around will we do it and that is a big bulky thing especially in a travel trailer yeah. to actually store plus you have to take wood you have to buy wood and everywhere had campfires this year yeah. every resort so it was a little bit like do we really dig it out like yeah, we're gonna like, use it one night mm, so just, we just didn't we just no. used the campfire thing but so it was kind of wasted. we do still love it i'm not gonna argue with this one a little bit we because, can't agree on this so the outdoor rugs you guys love them and again we were sold on them when we were watching other videos and we were like yeah maybe we need an outdoor or maybe that would help get some of the dirt off on the dog's feet before they come in right but we found so many places where we couldn't put them out because you're not allowed to put them on grass because it kills the grass or we didn't want to kill people's grass. So, you know, we ended up not really, well, we did use it, but it wasn't essential and we'd live without it. And now our neighbors are gonna go past and we're gonna yeah. cut. <laughs> <laughs> and my arm's hurting, hold on, back in a sec. Okay, so the rug, um, some places don't let you put it down. We never put it down on grass because it kills the grass um, and it just annoys us when we go to a new campsite and someone's had a rug down and it's killed the grass even if the camp down ground do it. Allows it. Yeah. So we rarely put the rug down. Uh, when we can, if it's gravel or something, we will. Mm. Same with the sunshade though. We rarely use our sunshade unless there is a rig right close to us because it gives us a little bit more privacy. Yeah. Um, and we do love it, but the other thing is, I'm kind of half and half on this because we do love it when it's out, but you have to set it up, you have to put it in, you have to dig it in the ground, uh, the, the pegs I mean, yeah. um, and then it takes a lot of space in, in our storage, mm. which I don't like because every time I have to keep taking it out and putting it back. So the sunshade is fantastic. We do love it. We do use it sometimes but on the same reason know. like i never got a tablecloth and i know people rave about it and don't get me wrong this trip we witnessed people putting sewer hoses on we picnic did. benches we didn't think that still Blah. happened in this day and age but, but for ease and lightweight we just carry a couple of table um what's it called mats mats yeah, yeah place mats and then we just throw those down um and then i can throw them in the wash as well rather than having to wash an entire tablecloth or just get gig in disposable ones so yeah we just use place mats for that 
Okay. All right. So the last section that we have is things we would buy, essential things we would buy if we had to start from scratch. Yes. Let's say we were starting forbid, out again. it doesn't happen. The rig is gone. Everything went with it. Things that we would have to buy. Yep. Again, I'm not including the sewer hose and the water and things like this. Right. So the first thing is the RV locks. Yes. I love them. Some people have said they've had issues with theirs. Okay. And I, I find that, that response. Yeah, yeah, no, some people have. Oh. It's either you love them or hate them, but oh, we absolutely love might. them. We, the only thing I don't like is that the numbers keep peeling off and we yeah. have to keep buying them. Yeah. Uh, they're easy. They just peel off and then you stick new ones on. But they are fantastic. The batteries last forever. Mm. No problems with them. Love them. Yes. Second thing is the Halo View um, observation camera. Mm -hmm. Backup um, cam. That's been very handy. Yep, we love it. Use it all the time. No problem at all. Uh, TST tire monitoring. Um, or tire minder, or tire minder. <laughs> we, are, we don't disagree if you've seen our video on that I love the TST it's much more configurable I'm a nerd I love that stuff Natalie likes a tire minder because you can configure stuff but it's much simpler to use so yes. we've put a tire minder on Natalie's car and the TST is in my truck <laughs> but yeah essential and then the other essential will be the X-Chocks because yes. that does stop the squeak, 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 squeak. Yeah, so with our rig, the x shot <laughs> it, it <laughs> stops. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Walking, yeah, walking yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> or even OP moving around. So yeah. we don't find the rig moves too much. The, our ground design is pretty good with that. The only problem is that there is a slight squeak. So if you don't funny. use the x chocks there's a slight squeak. And that is more irritating than the rig moving. <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, so the x chocks are, I, I think I'd have them on any rig we had, but mm. um, especially with this one that we find that we use them all the time i think we'll get another level mate pro i think that's an essential um just yep, so we didn't have, don't have to open up the whole rig put the level on there yep. blah 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 so I yeah think and that's... we also love the rv leveler that we installed as well they're both excellent we still use both i high hardwired both into the rig um the only problem is rv leveler leveler had an issue getting their app on the app store yeah we don't recommend it anymore so we don't recommend it because of that yeah but the product is actually good so if they ever bring the product back out the, the app back out then we will it's great know. yeah we, we do like it <laughs> gas stop because obviously safety first and that's definitely one of the essential things that we would have oh yeah without a doubt yes. yeah love our gas stops it tells you the level and it cuts it off if everything cuts out we've done a bunch of videos because we love it we don't mess about with great company paint. as well love the guys there they're, they're really cool um water regulators and filters mm -hmm. um we rarely need to use our water regulator, but normally the rigs, the piping in the rigs, the PEC stuff, I think it's something like 42 PSI. Now, most campgrounds are nowhere near that. Yeah. But there was one this year mm -hmm. that it was insane. They had, their water pressure was like 75. They have it everywhere. When the guy showed us to a site, he's like, have you got a water regulator? Because if you don't, it will blow your pipes out. He did. Guaranteed. Yeah. And so, water regulator. We buy a really good one with the gauge and everything on it. You probably don't need that. You can just buy a cheaper one, but that is an essential i i was going to say that this isn't an essential but after we went on this trip i'm like wow yes it is and something for us dog people out there that i find essential this year is the pet hair resistant bed sheets that has been a game changer for us this year because jack's he sheds a lot and you know yeah we had duvet cover that i could take off and wash and everything but it was just like it attracted it so when i found these bed sheets that actually repelled dog hair ah oh, that was yeah game changer telling you all right for me i don't know anything about that by the way um for me is the um the blackstone uh there are other makes available now but basically a, a cooktop the reason why is because i spend a lot of time in the rig all day working and i need to get out and about in the evening so if we don't have anywhere to go or it's too late or something like that or i need to stay local um i just get outside and cook on the blackstone mm, and actually it. we find that if the weather's nice then we use the blackstone all the time yeah. every single day so the blackstone is one of those essential things every time we sit up at a campsite we get the blackstone out because we will guarantee to use it at least three times a week yes agreed the other thing with the blackstone is we have two little fold-up tables so that one i can put the blackstone on it if there isn't a bench and the other one is so that i can put the stuff the food prepare the food on so that i can put it on the blackstone didn't think we'd really need those but we use those every single time as well and we'll leave a link below for, for those as well uh, we love the blackstone but i know there is other makes and things on a on a grill that you can mm. use so it, that's up to you okay well then the last one again is pet related uh well it's not i guess but you know a for you for you it's te it's <laughs> pet related yes. for me it's security related yes yeah, so we have the samsung smart things yep. i don't know if that exists anymore yep. but it um temperature temperature and doors opening i don't know why oh and water 
it senses if there's water leaks, right? Yeah. It does so, all of it. So it used to be called Samsung Smart Things. They changed the name. It's all still there. You can use other systems. There's other things available. Um, it's essentially like the waggle. People use the waggle for the yeah. temperature for the rig. We use the Smart Things. It comes with sensors all over the place. So we have a bunch inside. We have one in the bedroom, one in the living room, one in the back, one in the bay. You can have water sensors. So if it detects a water leak, it will do all of that. Um, it tells you if doors are open or shut or the temperature, all of this stuff. It does everything. Mm -hmm. So we use that a lot. Along with that, we haven't, don't have it here, but we, I just have some magnetic tape here. And the other side of that tape is on a ring doorbell and we put the ring doorbell on this slide. Mm -hmm. That's more for security so we can see if anyone's walking up to the rig. And the camera's um, inside so we make sure the dogs aren't barking. We do have cameras all around inside as well. So that's more of a security smart things kind of thing for me. Yes. All right, that is everything. But I did mention earlier, there's one thing that I was gonna explain, oh. which I love. Natalie kind of likes it, is I have this wicked projector for outside. So instead of an outdoor TV that we're rarely going to use and take space everywhere, I have this little projector. It's fantastic. The audio quality is great. The picture quality is great. You can connect a laptop. You can share your phone to it, everything. And you can, so if you're out with friends, we play Jackbox, thanks to the WAGs. They introduced us. So if you play Jackbox, you can just project it on here and you can play the game outside with sure. everyone else. Yeah, no, well, it's, it's, yeah, it's better than having a TV. I'm going to be TV. honest though, the one thing that annoyed us this year about it is there's quiet times in campsites so at like 10 o'clock when we're ready to play when we're ready to play <laughs> and had a few drinks or we're really enjoying it we have to shut it down and then move inside so mm. um yeah and if it's too bright outside you can't see the screen so you have like a window of like three or four hours where you can actually use it true just being realistic from our experience anything else no, I think we're good. I'm excited to see what our I'm more excited our collaboration to see the comments. team comes I think, up with. Yeah, I think the comments on this are going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. I think everyone's going to say, what, you don't have an outdoor TV? That's crazy. Why aren't you doing that? <laughs> Sorry, the uh, campground neighbours are uh, shouting at us. Not at us. Um, and so, yeah, so I think the comments are going to be interesting. And I think there's going to be things that we've missed. We've tried to put a lot of thought into this, but the stuff we've probably missed. So leave, the, so leave in the comments anything else you think that we may have missed. Yeah. And don't forget, go check out the other channels below. Thanks again to Chris and Katrina, uh, our everyday getaway, for joining us this month. Yeah. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share this if you think someone would be interested. Hit the thanks button, because Natalie loves it when you do that. And hit join to become a Brazier and support a couple of tits, Natalie and myself. That was the smoothest I've ever done that. So <laughs> if you've watched this far, leave a comment and say, Lawrence, you're fantastic. That's the smoothest you've ever done that. Whatever. Whatever. All right. We'll see you next month, or we'll see you on Sunday. <laughs>